A man borrowed rupees two thousand five hundred from two money lenders. For one loan, he paid five percent per annum, and for the other, he paid seven percent per annum. The total interest paid for two years was rupees two hundred and sixty-five. How much did he borrow at each rate? So let's say these are the two money lenders. This is number one and number two, and this is the man who is borrowing the amount. So he borrowed some money from the first lender and some money from the second lender, and the total is rupees two thousand five hundred. Now the first one has given him this loan at five percent per annum, while the second person has given the loan at seven percent per annum. So per year, this man has to pay an interest of five percent per annum to one, and seven percent. Per annum to number two. Now this man has taken this loan from both these money lenders for a period of two years, and at the end of two years, he is paying a total of rupees two hundred and sixty-five as interest, which is distributed to both one and two, and this is for a time period of two years. so we have to find out how much is the amount which was lent by number 1 and how much is the amount lent by number 2 so let's say the amount lent by 1 which is at 5% is equal to x rupees so we already know that the total amount is rupees 2500 so the amount lent by 2 will be equal to 2500 minus x rupees and this is at 7% now we also know that the total interest is rupees 265 so the total interest Is equal to interest paid to the first money lender plus the interest paid to the second money lender. Now we know that the total interest is rupees two hundred sixty-five. So two sixty-five is equal to now interest one is again P R T by hundred. So principal one, rate one. And time, time is the same for both the cases, which is two years. Divided by hundred plus principal amount for the second one, multiplied by the rate for the second one, multiplied by t, which is again two years, divided by hundred. So or two sixty five is equal to now p one we said is x rupees. So x multiplied by r one is five percent. So this is the first one, which is five percent. Multiplied by t is two years. Divided by hundred plus p two is two thousand five hundred minus x. Multiplied by r two is seven percent. Multiply by t, which is two years. Again, divide by hundred. So, or two sixty-five is equal to. Now, here we can take hundred as the LCM. So, this becomes five multiplied by two, which is ten. Ten multiplied by x, which is ten x, plus. Seven multiplied by two is fourteen. So 
2500 minus x multiplied by 14 so let's bring 100 on the other side so 265 multiplied by 100 which is 26500 is equal to 10 times x plus so 2500 multiplied by 14 so 25 multiplied by 14 is 350 so 350 and then 00, zero minus 14 multiplied by x which is 14 x or 26500 is equal to so 10 x minus 14 x is minus 4 x plus 35000 zero, zero. so let's bring this 4 x on the other side and 26500 zero, zero on the other side so this becomes 4 x it becomes positive because it was negative on the right hand side and when we bring it to the left hand side it becomes positive so 4x is equal to 35000 minus 26500 or 4x is equal to so 00, zero we'll put as it is 0 so we can make this 4 and carry over 1 so 10 minus 5 is 5 and then this we can make 2 and carry over 1 so 14 minus 6 is 8 and 2 minus 2 is 0 so x is equal to 8500 divided by 4 or x is equal to so 4 2's are 8 and 4 1's are 4 1 carry over 4 2's are 8 2 carry over and 4 5's are 20 so 2 1 2 5 rupees so the amount which has been borrowed at 5% from money lender number 1 is 2125 rupees and the amount lent by the second money lender is 2500 minus 2125 which is equal to 375 rupees.